Hello friends, this video on chemical coordination and integration part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about the next one that is testes. So now here I have written endocrine glands and then testes. So that doesn't mean the testes is an endocrine gland. Now testes serve dual purpose. So it is basically the sexual organ for male. So it is the male sex organ. But at the same time they secrete the male sex hormones and that is why they fall under the category of the endocrine glands. Now where are they located? They are present in the scrotum in males. What is scrotum? Scrotum is this bag like structure which is present in the body of a male and it is outside the abdomen. It is not inside the abdomen. Now why is the scrotum located like that and why are the testes located inside the scrotum? Now this structure is specifically designed because uh, the sperms which are produced that need a different temperature than the body temperature. So if this scrotum would have been located inside the abdomen, the sperms would have not been produced in the testes. So since since they need a separate temperature that is why they are located in a separate bag like structure which is outside the abdomen. So if you look at its composition so uh, the testis is composed of two types of cells I mean not exactly two types of cells but mainly one is the seminiferous tubules which are tubular structures like this so here you can see this is how the internal structure of the testis look like. So these tubular structures are the seminiferous tubules. Now I will not get into the details of all these because we have already discussed all these things in the reproductive system. And it also consists of the interstitial or stromal tissue. Stroma always refers to the covering. So now these tubules are present towards the inner side and outside this these areas which you see they are nothing but the interstitial tissues or the stromal tissue whatever you call it. So that is how the structure of the testis look like. It performs dual function that is it also acts as the sex organ because it produces the male sex cells or the male gametes called sperms. And what are the dual function? One is it acts as sex organ and the other is it acts as a gland, the endocrine gland which secretes the hormones. So now let us see what are the hormones secreted by the testes. Now let us look at the hormones which are secreted by the testes. The most important hormone secreted by testes is the testosterone. And it is secreted by the interstitial cells. Just now I told you, right, that the if you look at the structure of testes, they are made up of two types of cells. One is the interstitial cells and the other one is the seminiferous tubules. So the interstitial cells also, they have a special type of cells called the Leydig cells. And these Leydig cells are the ones which are responsible for producing the hormone testosterone. Now, you remember why I was talking about the uh, anterior pituitary hormones. I said that the anterior pituitary controls the production of testosterone by uh, acting on the Leydig cells. So these are those Leydig cells. And what is the function here? So it helps in the development of male genital organs. So all the male sex organs which are which take which participate in the process of uh, the reproduction. So they are all developed due to the presence of this hormone development of secondary sexual characters in men what do you mean by secondary sexual characters secondary characters would mean uh, things like uh, the aggressiveness which is present mostly in male the presence of beard or moustache which is again mostly in men uh, men then facial hair muscular growth uh, the lower pitch of voice. So all these are uh, secondary ca sexual characters in males and they are developed due to the presence of this hormone. That is why you would have seen that there are some females who tend to have a lot of facial hair or who tend to have a slighter, um, slighter hair growth near their chin. So they are. that is because of the presence of these kind of hormones which are responsible for developing sexual characters in men stimulates spermatogenesis that is the process of formation of sperms so it activates that process influence male sexual behavior so when you talk about the male sexual behavior it means the desire for sexual activity which is often termed as libido so it also influences that the presence of this type of hormone so overall if you see this testosterone is responsible for development and maturation of all the uh, 
organs which participate in the process of reproduction in males like the epididymis or the vas deferens or the urethra, prostate gland etc. Now we have discussed about all these uh, parts of uh, the male reproductive system uh, in our previous classes. So if you want you can refer the videos on reproductive system. Now let us look at uh, the ovaries. Ovaries again they are very specific to females the way testes are present in males similarly ovaries are present in females. So they are located again in the pelvic cavity of abdomen. So where is the pelvic cavity? So this is the abdominal cavity and this is abdominal pelvic cavity. So basically this one is the pelvic cavity. So it is located in this cavity. It also exists in pairs. So you can see this is one ovary and this one is another ovary. So it is composed of ovarian follicles and stromal tissues. Stromal tissues again which forms the covering and ovarian follicles. Follicles are nothing but cyst like structures. This kind of structures uh, which are present inside the ovary and these follicles actually enclose the egg inside. The main purpose of ovary is to release egg during the process of ovulation. So that is the purpose of ovary. So the ovarian follicles actually enclose the egg and in each menstrual cycle one ovum or one egg is released. Now once the egg is released what happens to the ovarian follicle? It gets the, the ruptured follicle forms a structure which is known as corpus luteum. So that is the process that takes place. So these ovarian follicles after ovulation forms corpus luteum. So this is the structure which is formed after ovulation. Now let us look at the hormones which are produced by ovary. So one important hormone that is produced is estrogen and what does it do? It helps in the development of female genital organs like the ovary, the uterus, the all those parts, the fallopian tubes. So they are the female genital organs. It also helps in development of secondary sexual characters in women like how you have it in men similarly in case of women you have the secondary sexual characters like the uh, absence of hair throughout I mean the, or we would not say absence but lesser amount of hair being present all over the body than uh, the presence the development of breasts the development of a higher pitch voice so all those things are the falls under the category of secondary sexual characters. It also influences female sexual behavior that is the desire for sexual activity in females. So it, all these roles are played by estrogen. There is another hormone which is uh, produced by the ovary that is called the progesterone. And who produces the progesterone or which part of the ovary produces progesterone? Just now I was talking about the corpus luteum, right? That the ovarian follicles, they keeps an egg enclosed within them. During ovulation, they release that egg. Then what happens to the follicle? The follicle gets ruptured. So that ruptured follicle forms a structure called corpus luteum and this corpus luteum secretes a hormone called progesterone. So what does it do? Because estrogen already takes care of all the female uh, sex organs and the secondary sexual character. So what is the need of progesterone? Now there is one additional thing which happens inside the body of a female and which doesn't happen in case of males. And what is that? Pregnancy, right? So progesterone supports the process of pregnancy. That means when a female is carrying a baby inside, a lot of other things also needs to be taken care of. So a, this special type of hormone takes care of those things that time. For example, it stimulates the alveoli formation for milk storage and secretion in mammary glands because all these things has to happen only inside the female body. So they need an additional hormone which can take care of all the changes that happen inside the body of a female when she is pregnant and that is done by progesterone which is secreted by the corpus luteum. So that is all about uh, the ovary. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.